What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to talk about a Google Chrome plugin called .git. So if you don't know what a .git folder is, it's essentially the folder that allows you to see all of the commits and branches and different aspects to a Git repository. So what .git does is it looks for every website that you browse on your daily activities and sees if there's a .git folder exposed to the internet. Of course, if it is exposed to the internet, then you could potentially download that repository and see the sensitive data within it. As you can see here, after using this for about two weeks or so, I've got many different uh, websites that have exposed .git files, but today I'm going to talk about the bottom one, which is the tax website. One day I decided I wanted to take a look at how much tax and student loan and things I was paying, so I went onto this website. This is what it looks like. The .git plugin popped up and said there's a .git exposed. So of course I went to the .git folder and saw, yep, yeah, that is exposed. So what does this actually mean and what do I do with this? Well, go on your Kali Linux box or whatever Linux distribution you've got, make sure you have git, git downloaded and just do a simple git clone of this URL. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna download the git repository for this website, as you can see here, and show you all the files related to it. So obviously this could be some really sensitive information that the web owner doesn't want people to see. So having this exposed to the internet could be quite powerful. So here I'm gonna show you that there's a database connection file showing the password for the database. Obviously it's blurred out because you don't need to see that and I'm hoping he's changed it anyway. Um, and another file here, which is an open VPN configuration file with uh, certificates, private certificates in there. So I can actually use this file, log into his DigitalOcean droplet and potentially change things within the website or do various malicious things. So, you know, I'm not a malicious guy, but if someone malicious downloaded this Git repository, there's enough there to do some potentially quite big damage to this site that has 250,000 views per month. It's quite a big site to have this sort of issue. So what did I do with this information? Well, I responsibly disclosed it. I said to the guy uh, using the email address on the website, hey, I'm a security researcher. I found this, uh, this .git flaw within your website. Don't be alarmed, but this is what I found. And this is how you should go about uh, stopping this being exposed to the public. He very quickly came back, which is always nice to see in a responsible disclosure and said, hey, thanks for finding this. Um, can you just double check that it's now fixed? and uh, I appreciate you finding this. So yeah, I checked and it's now gone, but I just wanted to show you this tool because it's really cool for doing bug bounties without actually meaning to do bug bounties. You could be browsing your daily websites and just come across something like this and find a major flaw in a major website vendor. So definitely download this plugin, see how powerful it is, and you'll probably find quite a few .gits exposed to the different websites that you go on. Quite a short video today, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thank you.